Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of ABG News. Only say the son of Nube is my name and I hope I find all of you well. You had a wonderful Easter. Um, now that we are back at work, I would like to answer a few questions from Zep holders, especially those who were inquiring during the weekend and the holidays. And there is somebody again who asked a similar question just today. And this pertains to ZEP holders who want to apply not for a waiver and not for a permit but the new ZEP those who want to apply for the new ZEP which was launched by the minister or announced by the minister um, late last year they want to know if it is now available they want to know how they can apply for it and they want to know before they apply what requirements uh, do they need to satisfy before they can apply so this is what we're going to talk about we're going to talk about whether or not this has started to be applied for when it started if it has and also a list of the documents that you need to produce when you go and submit at vfs so this is what i'm going to talk about a question that i'm going to answer but before i go ahead may i request that you subscribe to this channel like this video and share it so as I have said, the questions that were asked are, has the new ZEP been launched? Can people apply for it now? And what are the requirements? But first of all and foremost, let me tell you that this is the permit that is valid for two years. It expires in 2025. That is November 2025 on the 29th of November 2025 as it was launched last year in November and it has begun to be applied for it actually began uh, in february uh, that is this year people began to apply for this uh, if you haven't and you need it you don't want to go through the trouble of applying for a waiver waiting for it for close to a year and then applying for a permit before the 31st of december you can apply for this particular permit it lasts for 21 years i mean for two years it's valid for two years not 21 years and these uh, are the requirements that you need to satisfy uh, in this uh, application category. You need to have a letter of employment from your employer on the company letterhead. That is, if applicable, if you are working for a company and, a certif and certified true by a commissioner of oath. Uh, so the letter from the company must be on a company letterhead and it must be certified true uh, by a commissioner of oaths who can be from a police station you can find them at a bank or at a post office so if you're working for an individual they need to write a letter of confirmation and sign it as well as put their contact details and their address and also state what position you work uh, there and include your passport number then they must sign that particular letter and then if you own a business and you're applying for a work uh, for a business permit under this new ZEP, you need to have a business registration document or a municipal registration document. So if you're applying for a business permit under this new ZEP, you disregard the first one, which is a letter of employment, but go to a business registration document or a municipal registration document if you are a vendor who is operation, operating from those vending stalls the way you pay a uh, rent to the municipal maybe every two weeks every week or every month then if you are applying for a study permit under this zep this new zep you need to provide a, an institution of learning admission letter on the institution letterhead with a stamp then you need also supporting documents which include a duly completed and signed ZEP online form. This is the form that you fill online, but you can only be able to download that after you have paid at the bank and you have booked your appointment. You also need to have an original passport, which is valid for 90 days. That is, when you go and submit, your passport must not have less than 90 days uh, of existence or of validity. It mustn't expire before the 90 days from the day that you go and submit. And you also need photocopies of your valid passport you need 
a photocopy of a valid ZEP permit and also an original bank payment receipt for each application. So this is the receipt that you get after you have paid uh, at the bank for your visa uh, processing before you can book an appointment and the money is 1550 If it's a cash deposit payment, uh, then uh, you do it at your at, at the ZEP a standard bank account they have an account number which they don't show you you need to go to the bank inside and then you can um you can then uh pay there they will show you how it is done so the fees as i have said uh are a fixed fee of a 1550 rand for every applicant but there is also a biometric clearance fee of 185 rand which is applicable to all who are 18 years and above you also for all adults who are 18 years and over you pay a total of 1735 that is the 1550 uh, which is a service fee and the 185 rand which is for biometric clearance fee uh, so altogether it becomes 1735 if you are a minor, you will pay a total of 1550 So these fees are non-refundable once the application is received by VFS Copal and the Department of Home Affairs. So the overview is that uh, the special dispensation is for Zimbabwean nationals who are working, number one, who are studying or running their businesses in the Republic of South Africa. And the special, so that is where we are right now thank you very much don't forget to subscribe to this channel like this video and share it